Have you seen Connor today? No. I mean, after last night. He knows where I am. And I suppose you went straight home then, did you? Yeah, why? Just wondering. All right. We were just talking about you. Yeah? Mary was wondering if you were feeling any better. Yeah. Much better, thanks. I better go. Oi! There's something bothering her, you know. Um, did she tell you what it was? Mm, probably act off with Connor again. Yeah. That'll sort itself out soon enough, then. Ah, Sarah, just the man. Sorry? Robbie's sick. I need some help in here. I can't. Of course you can. It's really simple. Just stack in and stuff. No, I mean, I haven't got the time, Terry, all right? I've got an essay to do. Oh, well, don't worry about that. When does it have to be in by? Yesterday. Well, they'll understand. Look, can't you get someone else to do it? Like you? who? Tony? Well, he's helping Simon, isn't he? What about Nina? She'll be in the pub. Besides, I can't really ask her. She's not family. Oh, yes, she is. Not like you. Proper family. That's what we are now. With a family business to run that needs some help. No, I, I didn't... So know. what do you say? No. You'll have to get someone else. Uh, someone's in a good mood. Did your bloke ring when you got in? Actually, no. But everything's still OK, yeah? Yeah. I find that's soon enough. Oh, right. You ain't seen Michael around this morning, have you? Me? No. Um, no one has. He doesn't seem to come in this morning. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. Yeah, you want to watch out. They all start taking the new for granted. Yeah. Probably overslept or something. See you later. Yeah, see you later on. I don't know. Later. As soon as I can. I promise. Okay. Bye. What's the matter? Well, can't I talk to him on the telephone now? I expect the barrels need changing or something. You don't have to go. No, I really think they need... Me and Mum have got nothing more to say to each other, have we? You missed a bit. <sighs> Michael, not today, no, sorry. It's just he ain't called in or anything. Maybe he's sick. What about Matthew, he'd know. No, uh, no need. It's probably nothing. Uh, when you're done there, my love, would you check the sell-by date on those sausage rolls? And the reason you can't is because... I'm serving. What? Uh. Yeah, and when you finish that, would you uh, look at the stock room, because it needs sorting out, please. I oh, said so I'd help out, not run the place. Well, you wouldn't have to be here at all if it wasn't for your daughter's attitude. Oh, my daughter, is it? I thought she was your daughter these days. No, she is not my daughter. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. Maybe I could have a word with Sarah. See if she'll come in this afternoon. Really? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Oh, I could try. Like you tried with Peggy. I'll tell you what. I'll be in the stockroom. And you check the sausage rolls. All right? Mel? Looking for something cheap? Give me a break. Because if I was you, I'd go and find your friend Saskia. I wanted to see you. The way I look at it is you and her have a lot in common. Oh, come on. I can explain. I don't want to hear it. It's not what you think. You're not very good at listening, are you? Now, please. Close the door on your way out. Did you find him, then? Michael? No, no, it's all right. I can cope. It's not important. All right, Matthew, where's your old man today? Lisa here's pining for him. He said something about not coming in this morning. Don't know why. Sorry. There you go. Thanks. Um, can I have a word? Yeah. Hasn't left you in it, has he? No, n not really. Is he, um, I mean, is he okay? Not as far as I know. And your mum? She's okay? We both seem fine. Yeah. Mind you, they were up late last night talking. What about? Was it to you? Nothing. No, uh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's uh, been a kind of change of circumstances. Hey, well, let's just say if um, if there's the right offer there, uh, I could be up for it. What? Yeah, yeah, I will, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, I'll catch you later. Bye. Who is that? It was Dave in Leeds. There's a job going up there. I was just checking to see if uh, he'd filled it or not. Leeds? Well, didn't we say last night we wanted to make a fresh start? <laughs> yeah, but not in Leeds. Oh, well, just a thought. And a very nice one. 
Uh, shouldn't you be thinking about going in? I thought I'd uh, stay home today. What? Play hooky, the two of us? Why not? Because <laughs> we're not 12 year olds, that's why. Could be fun, though. Yeah. So you're going to leave Lisa? What? You're going to leave her all alone on the market? Oh, she, she can cope. <laughs> well, of course she can, but that's not really the point, is it? Yeah, but I thought we were going to spend the day together. <sighs> Tempting as it is. I've got to go into work. Yeah, but I thought we were going to... Oh, come on. Lisa will be wondering what's happened to you. We've got plenty of time. Let's think about Lisa for a change, yeah? I thought I'd head over there later. They've got a whole bunch of Japanese seconds coming in from Ireland. I thought I'd take a look at. You never know. Yeah, great, great. Uh, unless you'd rather do it. No, 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 Roy. It's fine, fine. I'll go then, shall I? Yeah, whatever, whatever. Is everything okay? Everything's fine, Roy. Everything's absolutely fine. Only, uh, uh, if you're planning on stomping up and down like that, could you do it over there, even out the wear and tear? Oh, Roy, Roy. Everything's not okay. And I haven't moved anywhere. Now, there's a surprise. No, well, I can't, you know, not with Graham. St still thinking that I, um, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. <sighs> I wish I knew what to do. That's well, Peggy in all of this. Well, spending all that time looking after Grant and none of herself. Oh, it's got to be tough, though, stuck in the middle, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, we'll get by. I hope so. You know, some, sometimes I think that. This may be all too much for her, you know. Too much to deal with, too much to get over. And at some point, it's just easier to... just to walk away. Not always. Besides, Peggy isn't like that, is she? Hello. Hello, Angel. Oh, yeah. Hello. I'm going to speak some Nice to see you. Roy, I, I thought I'd take an early lunch. Yeah, that's fine by me. I mean, we're hardly fighting them off, are we? I take an air, is that all right? Take two. Take whatever you need. Thank you. Grant? It's not much, is it? What we end up as? Just a pot. It's nothing, really. At least with a coffin, you look at the size of it and you can imagine a person in there. But but this. Do you know, the bones don't burn. After everything, they're still there. So they sort of scrape you into this machine where they grind you down until they... Well, until they can fit you into one of these. Do you think Alex is right that I should find some sort of garden to bury her in? Is that what you want to do? It's not like it's the first death that I've... In the Falklands, all my mates didn't come back. And afterwards, we collected them and buried them what was left of some of them. We said our goodbyes at the graveside. But now... When my granddad died, my mum had him cremated. And for ages, he just sat there on the mantelpiece. The rest of us didn't know how to handle it. I swear, people were coming by using him like an ashtray. Then it was like, hello, Granddad's put on a bit of weight. The truth is, she didn't want to say goodbye. Do you think Alex is right? I should bury her somewhere. Not necessarily. You could always scatter her ashes. <laughs> what, in the middle of the square? I can just see that. <sighs> no, it could be anywhere. Somewhere she was happy. Somewhere she'd like to be now. In Paris, maybe. We went there with Phil and Kathy. Well, then take her to Paris. No. At the funeral, they said that when she was younger, they used to take her down to the coast for holidays, but somewhere near Peace Haven. They said that she loved it there. It's funny. She never mentioned it to me. 
We'll then take her there, Grant. Listen to me. I asked you yesterday to be strong for me. Do you remember? Of course. Well, that means we can't do anything just at the moment. No phone calls. No meetings. And no moving in. Not just now. So you, uh, you want me to leave you alone? No pressure, are you? Give you plenty of distance, that sort of thing, huh? Yeah, that sort of thing. How long for? I don't know, darling. A while, I think. Please, for me. Can you do that? You know, you know, Peggy, it, it took me a long time to decide to stay here for good. But I always said to myself, there was a reason I had to be. And it was you. You were the most, you are the most precious thing in my life. And loving you is the most important thing in my life. Nothing else makes sense. So I'll sit here. And I'll wait. And I'll do anything you ask. Because being together, that's the only thing that matters. There's a bewildering choice of films out there. There's blockbusters, art house movies, and all sorts. So I thought I could maybe uh, make up a personal selection. Right. And then maybe you could come back to my place. Yeah. And I could show you what you've been missing all this time. What do you say? How about some service up this end? Those customers need serving. But I can hold on to that thought, can I? You can hold on to whatever you like. Where's Mum? I don't know. I mean, she went out a little while ago. She with Frank. What? I saw her and Frank about an hour ago. They were walking towards George Street. Well, if she asks, tell her I've gone for the day. I've gone down to the coast. Mm -hmm. Irene? What now? Come on, look at this. What's the matter? Look. Cream of mushroom. Cream of chicken. So? So mushroom belongs down there with all the other vegetables. You put them in all wrong, can't you read? Are you going to read like this all day? Like what? Look, I'm sorry it didn't work out talking to Peggy, but I tried, I really did, and so did she. But Grant just didn't want to listen, all right? Meanwhile, I'm left with nothing. Well, why don't you talk to him? I already did that! Yeah, and you said Simon made it impossible. So try again. Just talk to the man. Don't hide behind me and Peggy. Just try again. What, right now? Do you have to be somewhere else? Oh. Don't be long. Get those tins sorted out. The seaside, sweetheart. Grant, please don't do this on your own. Take Peggy. Well, she's busy, isn't she? Well, think how hurt she's going to be when she finds out. Yeah, well, it ain't my fault she took off. She's just around the corner. So what? Ah, Gordon, sweetheart. Get out of the car. Grant, please. Get out now! You're, you're being unreasonable. You don't want to see me unreasonable. Now get out. Give me the bag. What's the matter? Wait for the gym. I mean it. Listen to me. Give me the bag. Let me see Courtney. I huh? can be a help to you. You can't look after her all the time, can you? I can ask you again. What's going on? I want to talk to him, but Mr. Work those pecs would rather go to the gym. I mean, why don't you go? Let me look after Courtney. We can make it a regular thing. It's called babysitting. I want to see my granddaughter! I've warned you! Oh, big man, what are you gonna do? Hit me? Give me the bag, now! <laughs> Blimey, what do you got in here, anyway? Dumbbells? Tiffany. I'm taking her to Peacehaven. I think that's where she'd like to be, don't you? Now stay away from me. And don't mention this ever again, do you understand? Both of you. Grant? Nina came and got me. Well, you better get in. It's quite a long journey.
And listen, sorry about last night. What I said, I was angry at Mary. I took it out on you. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, maybe I went on a bit. No. Well, you're right. I'm hardly content for part of the year, am I? That's not true. Hi, my name's Connor, and sometimes my daughter talks to me. Keep at it. That's all I'm saying. She'll come round. Just give it time. Sorts out most things. You ever thought about going into the greetings card business? Hey, next time I ask you for your help, just do us a favour, will you? What's that? Smack me in the mouth, tell me I'm an idiot. What are you on about? Just now, fat lot of use you were. <sighs> Don't have a go at me just because you made a prey yourself. Well, at least I tried something. What were you doing? You're as bad as Grant. Rubbish. Crying your eyes out, saying how much you loved her. Yeah, it was a shame we didn't see a bit more of that when she was alive. Don't need this, Simon. I'm sick of the pair of you. That's fine. You just keep out of it, all right? It'll be a pleasure. So you're feeling pretty pleased with yourself, I expect. I was wondering when you were going to turn up. So you don't deny telling Melanie everything. Well, why should I? It's the truth. That's got nothing to do with it. Have you been drinking? I said what if I have. Because I'm not going to stay around while you rant at me for doing what you should have done from the start. You're going to do exactly what I tell you to do. Now, what do you think you're playing at? Nothing. Oh, come on. You've got to do better than that. It's true. How was I to know you hadn't told Melanie about us? Look, what I choose to tell or not to tell someone is up to me. Well, don't come running to me if you get found out. Because I didn't know. OK? All right. Maybe I should have told her earlier. But you didn't. I mean, that's kind of interesting, don't you think? Why? You start seeing Melanie, and you don't tell her a thing about us. And yet you tell me it's over, but you keep her secret. Why? I don't know. I mean, if it's over between us, like you say, then what's to hide? Did you tell her that we're finished? <sighs> she didn't give me a chance. Well, it's not that hard. I mean, you could be talking to her right now, and yet here you are with me. Why are you here, Steve? Well, well my reckoning. That's 37 miles. What is? Since you last spoke. Got nothing to say. Well, I don't think that's really true, do you? What, Frank again? Well, it's not going to go away because you don't want to talk about it. Yeah, it'll go away when you realise what your loyalties are. This is about loyalty? Of course it is. <laughs> that's rubbish. Is it? Oh, how long? How long are you going to stay angry? What do you expect me to feel? My mum with a bloke that killed my wife. Oh, shut up. Shut up and grow up. Oh, I ain't listening to this. Well, unless you're going to throw me out of the moving car, you ain't got much choice. Anyway, it's about time someone said it. If Frank hadn't been driving so fast... If, if! If Frank had been 30 seconds late, if you hadn't run out with Courtney, if Tiffany hadn't have followed you, if she, if she hadn't been in the pub that night, on and on. It was an accident, Grant. No. A stupid, tragic accident that just happened. And that's what you can't accept. Something that changes everything just like that for no reason. That's scary. So you try and find a reason. Because if you can do that, if you can blame someone, then you don't have to think about the other stuff. You killed her. She died. There's a difference. I really thought there was something there with Melanie. But? But maybe I was wrong. I know you were. You do? Well, look how she treated you today. She didn't give you a chance. You got that part right. You don't need it. You're better than that. Thanks. Yeah, look, um, thanks for understanding. You know, I feel pretty stupid. Don't. <laughs> you must think I'm a right idiot. Do you want me to show you what I think? Nobody knows you like I do. Nobody's better. At what? Everything. <laughs> What's 
What's the matter? I didn't take a round. What's happened? Not here. Listen, me. Oh, it's you. About last night, there isn't much to say, is there? Right, me sure you were OK? You sure it isn't? I wanted to make sure that you hadn't told Mark. Well, I haven't. I'm sure you'd know about it if I had. Will you? I don't know. I was selling these outside. I thought it would be nice, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they would. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Maybe you didn't make it then, did I? Yeah, well, maybe you should have thought of that before you went round to see Frank. I can't stay angry forever, Graham. All I know is that I'm angry with Frank for not breaking soon enough. I'm angry with you for still wanting to be with him. Most of all, I'm angry with Tiffany for not being here. For not looking where she was going. I believe you called it to cope with that. Just miss her so much. Me coming here in broad daylight. Well, why should anyone care? We work together. Yeah, I suppose. Anyway, at least we won't be disturbed here. I thought you had something else on your mind. Did you tell her? We talked for hours. I know. How? Matthew told me. Matthew. Don't worry. He doesn't suspect anything. But even so, it's a stupid thing to do. What was I meant to do, Michael? If you hadn't shown up for work this morning, I was going out my mind not knowing what had happened. Look, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. You're right. So? Well, like I said, we, we talked um, about everything. Um, about how um, we've been growing apart recently. Um, about how unhappy we've been together. And about how we need to be honest with each other. And what did she say? Oh, she, she agreed. Um, in fact, a lot of it came from her. She wasn't surprised when he told her about me. Well, that's it. I, um, I didn't tell her. You didn't? What, like, like you didn't have to? No, I, I didn't tell her, Lisa. Because, uh, because I'm not leaving her. I can't. Mm. Oh, I thought I might catch you while you were still in the shower. Some other time, eh? This was fun, wasn't it? Mm. We should try making a habit of it, don't you think? <laughs> See, I told you we were made for each other. And now I've got you. I'm never letting go. I've got nothing to say. Okay. I'll be by the car. Come when you're ready, love.
Let's go on. Mark suffers from side effects and stops taking medication. Steve finishes with Saskia and Nina talks to Grant about letting Terry see Courtney. Classic EastEnders continues next this afternoon here on Drama.